I'm Steve Stoller, Plano's Media Relations Director, and this is Plano City News, your local-only Plano newscast. This week, we start with the annual State of the City event, which was held at the impressive new Robinson Fine Arts Center. The mayor's message focused on all the great progress Plano has experienced over the last year and what's in store for the future, from the vast array of road and infrastructure improvements to the plethora of economic growth and development. So ladies and gentlemen, I am happy to report the state of our city is strong because we are guided by a strong vision and fueled by strong value-based decision-making. We commit to you to continue listening, continue working, and continuing our important obligation to stay true to our community values now and for the future. The mayor listed several ongoing projects that will enhance the vitality of our economy, including DART's Silver Line Rail project, the Collin Creek development, Envision Oak Point, and the transformation of the former EDS campus in Legacy. The Plano Mayor's Summer Internship Program kicked off this week. Student applications are being accepted now through March 8th. Since 2014, more than 900 Plano High School students have received internships at small and large companies, nonprofits, and governmental agencies throughout the city. Providing life-changing real work experiences, these internships have helped build the vision and the skills needed for students to successfully transition into college and into future careers. And for participating companies, the Mayor Summer Internship Program has proved to be a rewarding investment in the area's future workforce. Showing interns their hometown is more than a starting point, it's a career destination. So if you know a student who's interested in participating, please direct them to our website at planomayorsinterns.org to apply. February 12th through 16th is Share the Love Week at our award-winning recreation centers. If you've never visited one of the city's recreation facilities, this upcoming open house series is the ideal time to come and explore all the incredible amenities. Take advantage of free entry to recreation centers, discounted membership offers, prizes, and more. Share the Love Week allows residents to enjoy center amenities at no cost and learn about other recreation offerings. Have you checked out the large pond at Oak Point Park and Nature Preserve? Believe it or not, Every once in a while, our parks and recreation friends receive calls about alligator sightings. The pond provides habitat for many animals, but alligators are not one of them. What may be mistaken for an alligator is probably a beaver. A local resident took this photo. Beavers live along wooded rivers, lakes, and streams. They build living chambers complete with underwater entrances. Bring your binoculars on your next trip to Oak Point Park and see if you can spot one of these crafty critters. We want to give a special shout out this week to Jake Brindle, starting center for the San Francisco 49ers, who will be playing in the Super Bowl. Jake grew up in Plano. He went to Plano East Senior High, where he served as a team captain and was a two-time first team all district on the offensive line. He then played at UCLA and was actually signed by the Dallas Cowboys in 2016. San Francisco is his fifth NFL team. Good luck, Jake Brindle, who's making all of us Plano proud. Our pet of the week is Jill. Jill is a seven-year-old black German shepherd. She loves treats, knows how to sit and shake, and appears to be potty trained. To see all the pets up for adoption at the shelter, go to share.plano.gov slash pets for adoption. That does it for this week's edition of Plano City News. For more from our great city, head to social media. Check us out there, and you can always go to our website, plano.gov. We'll see you next week.